No tackles taken early by the Hawks makes me feel good about Lucas's recovery. O-line should be improved. Gino's good. Look at his wins despite the O-line. And regardless of age, has little tread off, taken off the tires. Well said, Roxanne. I still do have a lot of faith in Gino. I have for the last couple of years. He's rewarded me for that faith. And he's done some really good work despite not having that great pass-protecting offensive line. Despite the fact that he's got a defense that's going to accumulate a whole game and a half collectively over the course of the season and the amount of extra snaps they're going to be on the football field. He's accomplished that despite the fact that he has an offense that's driven to basically inform him not to target the middle of the field because Coach Carroll didn't didn't thought that there was more interceptions to be found in the middle of the field. So let's not target that. Let's stay away from that, thus reducing down some of the effectiveness then of the offense with it. So uh, thank you ten for the $10 donation, Roxanne. Uh, I agree with you. The no tackles taken certainly is an indicator here that Abraham Lucas's health is in much better shape and that, that, that they have a very... Um, high amount of positivity and optimism that he is going to be able to bounce back from this injury and um, be back to his strong self, that player that we got to see in his rookie year. And that makes me feel really good because it's, it's in the Seahawks' best future going forward that we've got Lucas and Cross, like two pillars, like two pillars out there holding it down on that side of things. 